Cover Page Tutorial and Instructions A cover page for a business plan provides information about the business such as name of the company and contact information. On the cover page of the plug-in plan template, users will need to insert the name of their company in the yellow highlighted space. Also, on the cover page are some blue highlighted spaces where they will want to enter contact information. The template comes with spaces for name, email, and phone, and users are welcome to add address if they would like. Users may also want to paste their logo, if they have one, onto the cover page. There is a placeholder design here which can be kept or clicked on and deleted and replaced. Users of the template can add several different cover page designs by clicking on the Insert tab on the top of the Microsoft Word menu. Once there, to the far left will be the cover page option. Table of Contents Tutorial and Instructions The table of content for a business plan details what is in the plan, the sections, headings, and page numbers. The plug and plan template has a table of contents that can be updated to reflect any changes made to the document. Once users have completed customizing the whole business plan, they can come back here and click on the table. A tab will open above the contents. Enter this tab which says Update Table. Click the Update Table wording on the tab and a pop-up that says Update Table of Contents will appear. The options will be Update Pages Only or Update Entire Table. Typically, Update Entire Table is appropriate. Then click OK. The table of contents will then automatically update. Confidentiality Agreement Tutorial and Instructions Next is the Confidentiality Agreement. The template provides content to protect the company from unauthorized use of information obtained from the business plan. Users are welcome to utilize the sample agreement but encouraged to seek legal counsel of their own since we are providing no legal advice and only providing a sample or example template document. There are several yellow highlighted areas where users are required to enter the name of their company. There are blue highlighted spaces as well where information on the individual signing the agreement will be entered.